Every day we waste electricity that we pay for but never use. It's generated by power stations, especially at night time. And of course today that includes power from wind turbines. More than 40 years ago, it was decided to build a special system here to solve the problem. Here being these hills above this lake at Camlock, work started in the 1960s to build a huge pump storage station deep under those hills with a vast reservoir on the top. A huge access tunnel would be carved into the mountain. The plan was to construct a 230 megawatt power station at the end of it. Above it was to be a new reservoir. The water from that would have poured down a vertical tunnel to generate the electricity. At night time, using electricity that would otherwise be wasted, the water would then be pumped back up into the reservoir ready for the next morning's power demand. Somewhere in these hills work began, but was never finished. It was claimed that a long tunnel was dug, but it's since been forgotten, a victim of the troubles. Deep underground at a place called Cruachan near Open in Scotland is an almost identical system. It also started in the late 1960s. It's a power station a thousand feet below the mountain and it's a critical part of Scotland's electricity supply. For instance, if we're watching uh, uh, football, whenever the football comes to half time, everybody goes and puts their kettles on, then you need somewhere to supply that energy quickly and often that comes from Cruachan where we go from uh, zero to the maximum output of the station which is 440 megawatts in a matter of seconds. At night time the water used is pumped back up into the reservoir high in the mountains. It can then be used again the next day. In effect it's storing electricity that would otherwise be wasted. We know work had already started on an identical scheme in Northern Ireland somewhere on this mountainside, but the local people we spoke to didn't know where it was. They'd never even heard of it. Then, after a day of searching, We've actually found the access tunnel because this is the opening now. It's been sealed off for over 30 years, but it is big. It goes one kilometre level straight into the hillside. This is the way they would have taken lorries carrying the whole power station in to build it. It'll have to go through this tunnel. And inside is just a very dark tunnel hacked out of the local rock, but with a cement roadway. But we haven't enough light to see very far. It is very wet, I can tell you that much. It's also flooded behind me, so I'm not going to go any further. There's also the risk of dangerous gases building up further into the tunnel, so really the safest thing to do is to head on out. Since finding the tunnel, we've also managed to find this photograph taken during its construction. All the bits to make the power station were constructed and brought to Northern Ireland. All that was required was somebody to take them down the access tunnel and put them together. But of course that never happened. It's understood that in the early 90s they were sold off, probably for scrap. As a result, we've all had to pay a little bit more for our electricity ever since. Mike McKim, BBC Newsline at Camlock.